All boys, they try to date me. They don't know that I'm crazy. I'm getting DMs daily. Get a life. Cause although I like rejecting ugly mugs I get too many cocky thugs Who say I'm meant to be their wife Okay So go home, take off your nikes Cause dating me is like a Cambridge <laughs> I'm freaking out here Whenever I press the refresh button on TikTok I have a new like, I have a new comment, I have a new notification What the fuck is happening? <laughs> Turn by the fifth week, you are completely. I literally low key feel famous right now. Like this is what it's like to be one of those pop stars when you when you refresh the page and there's like five new likes and like five new followers and like a comment. Literally every time I fucking press refresh, there's a new like and I'm like, oh my fucking god, it's gone from thirteen, it's gone from eleven k to fifteen k in about twenty minutes. I'm overwhelmed. I don't know how I'm gonna sleep. I've got work, it's 8 a.m. He burnt out emotionally, destroyed and suicidal. It's like a job at an accountancy firm. You think you're stable, steady income, but when something goes wrong, guess who is liable? And if you think I'm full of shit, take one last look at your dick. Cause I'm an undiagnosed bitch dating me as a I literally sound like Lancey from fucking Oliver. I'd make no. Change that. Oi oi. Do you know what? This accent that I've got in this song, it is in some of my songs, but in other songs I'd use an American accent. So like, is this gonna affect my future branding? Because I don't know if I wanna sound like fucking uh what's her name? What's the ginger's girl what's the ginger girl's name in EastEnders? Ginger girl EastEnders. I don't want to sound like Maisie Smith. What's her name? Tiffany. I don't want to sound like Tiffany in EastEnders all my life. Do I? Wasn't me. Right. Is it legal to sample a YouTube clip in your song? No, it's not legal. When someone creates something, it becomes copyrighted. Yeah, okay, but telling your fucking children not to shit in the toilet? That's disgusting. Did They've applied for a copyright for that, have they? And the, wasn't me. I mean, I wish I could fucking DM them. Unless you get permission, right. I was gonna say anyone know them, but this is a behind the scenes video, so <laughs> I'm gonna have to let that one go. I tried guys, I fucking tried. I'd make him cry then say, and what? That grammatically makes sense. No, then said goodbye. Oh, I'm gonna have to re-record that. <laughs> then say, it's not how I speak. Like a, a cashier in Greg's, like the cashier in Greg's. I don't wanna out a specific, you know, Peter who works in Greg's. Do you know what? I'm a vegan, right? And everyone hyped about the Greg sausage rolls, but I thought they were shit. I'm really sorry. If this video goes viral, I'm not, I'm not slating you, Gregs. I love, I love how you've done vegan food. More fucking places need vegan food because do you know what I mean? Like save the planet. I'm not going to go into that. Am I? No. I'm, no. <laughs> but get better at it. Oh, I've got 21 seconds left. Woo! I've done the piano. It sounds sick. It's sounding sick, guys. I love you so much. Thank you so much for making this happen. Well, I'm making it happen, but thank you for uh, just making me famous, even though I'm not. Bye. Hey, Lala. This is for behind the scenes. Okay, mum? Lala, don't you dare touch the laptop if you fucking delete that song. It's like half past midnight. My voice is gone. And I've just edited the vocals like, all the way through. I do need to make a tiny few edits, but here's my mum's reaction. <laughs> <laughs> what you need to say something <laughs> i'll just laugh <laughs> well i just think it's very it's hilarious it's just hilarious but it's very clever very, very clever Ooh, you would say that though wouldn't you well it is clever why where, oh. where did i get it from well it must be me then is it? who else who would you get it from yeah not dad he's a dumb fuck <laughs> nah <laughs> It's us girlies that's got the talons and the brains and yeah. everything. Yeah, all right, back to the song. Uh, <laughs> what do you think of the song? More, more than hilarious. We need, we need to promote this a bit more than that. Three, th uh, five, top, top five words to describe it. How did you feel when you listened to it? Let's go with that. Well, it gives you a belly laugh. Okay, nice. That's one word. Yeah, cool. It's relatable, <laughs> totally relatable. Okay. Um, what? Because you're 
Well, you're a fucking mental bitch as well. Yeah, you're my, you're my mum. Fair enough. Sound, whatever, that's not... Okay, moving on. Um, that's two words. <laughs> very genuine and authentic. That's offensive you know. to me, but okay, yeah. Well, you can't stand the real heart and experience. Okay. <laughs> not sure if that's a good yeah. thing. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, uh, you know... It's how, did you, how did you feel? Two words. Uplifted. Yeah. And really good. Uplifted. <laughs> we really can't count words in this family. <laughs> okay, I think that's enough. Yeah. Anything else you'd like to say to the fans? Oh, well done. Well done to the fans. Oh, to the fans. Well, enjoy, <laughs> my dears. It's You're in for a treat. To be fair, well done, well done to the fans because they're making this happen. Do you know what I'm saying? Thank you, yeah. TikTok supporters. Yeah, but I mean, enjoy, enjoy. It's a real treat. Yeah, my mum never lies, and she's very intelligent, yeah, yeah, like it's me. A real treat. So yeah, believe her. Okay, bye. Ha ha I don't know if people tell you this. Oh, by the way, guys, I'm just warming up because I'm about to record some backing vocals. Don't know if you guys know this, but um, I'm a little bit of an expert in warming up. So, great tip is to yawn because um, as my singing teacher always used to tell me, like, it relaxes your vocal cords. So just yawn. And you can actually force a yawn. Watch. I don't know if that was real. It works though, trust me. <laughs> okay, not to show off, but I'm gonna show off how high I can go. Piano is on, right? I can. Okay, I definitely used to be able to um, go up to the highest F on the on the piano. The highest F, motherfucker. If you own a keyboard or piano, go check it out. You'll fucking know that's high. But earlier this year, I got a cold or whatever, and then now it's really difficult for me to hit some of those high notes. But it's fine because I'm not actually gonna fucking sing those in the song. But it's really annoying because now I can't show off like how good it used to sound. But yeah. Okay, bye. I'm gonna record. I'm so stressed right now. <laughs> Still need to find the right piano sound and today is the day that I want to upload it to DistroKid by the end of today. Fuck! <laughs> so yeah, I've just sent the MIDI to uh, a couple of the producers to see if they can send me some nice sounds to see if that's any better. Ah, oh my gosh. <sighs> Having a heart attack. Wish me luck. Uh I'm in me mom's car. Brum brum. Um, I've just, I have just fucking listened. Where's the light in? Um, I've just listened to the mix through the car speakers. So this is the first draft of the mix. So for all the non-musician idiots out there, um, when you're listening to a mix, you need to do it through multiple different forms of headphone and speakers so I've done it through my MacBook Pro through um my neutral uh open back uh headphones from my mum's car speakers I would do it through um, <laughs> from my speakers but as you will have seen in the music video I have basically a replica of the in-betweeners car I don't have a tape deck unfortunately that would have been sick if it was exactly the same but um I don't have an aux cord or an aux slot in the car I don't even have a cigarette lighter I mean how does I even light cigarettes, by the way? Let me know. But, um, yeah, so I can't listen to my car. Um, but, yeah, I've listened to it through my phone as well. Uh, I just need to go listen to it uh, through my Beats headphones. Okay, guys, literally, I've got the music video tomorrow. It's Sunday 2147. Don't know why I've said it like that. 9.47 in the evening. We're filming tomorrow, 12 p.m. <laughs> Here's my... Um, my brainstorm, right? I've just I've just gone on the group chat of like my uni friends, like where are the landmark places in Cambridge and stuff? And I'm trying to find a specific bridge, but look how many fucking bridges there are in Cambridge. I mean, I knew that, but like, I didn't. I didn't until this point, do you know what I mean? Like the severity of the bridge issue that's going on here. And I'm trying to fucking go to the bridge that's like easily accessible, that you don't have to go through a college because of COVID and stuff. And I can't find it on Google Images and I don't know the name of it. It's just a steep bridge. So fingers crossed I, fingers crossed I find it.
<laughs> so I was asking on the group chat, I was like, what is the name of that bridge? Um, the one that's like accessible outside of colleges that's like really steep to like, I remember cycling up there to lectures. And I remember it just being too fucking steep. Like, why is it that steep? Um, and then my mate was like, um, orgasm bridge. And I was like, I've heard the name of that, but I thought I'd never seen that bridge. Turns out I've been cycling over it literally every fucking day to lectures. Look, that's what it is. Look, that's me cycling. Well, not me, but a replica, you know, for the purposes of the photo. Not everyone can be mean, you know. Um, and now I've realised what it means. Now I know why it's called Orgasm Bridge, because it's difficult to reach the summit. Cracked it. Literally cracked it. Okay, that only happens to me in sex, right? When I'm wanking, it's fine. Like, ask any of my exes. I can take up to 40 minutes, right? I'm not gonna go into detail. That's already too much detail, goodbye. No stay, it's behind the scenes. But I'm, I am baffled, I didn't know. I'd been cycling over Orgasm Bridge, like on the daily, to my lectures, to my bloody, you know, Ban 8 lectures, or whatever it was bloody called. PBS 2 lectures, gotta love it. Wow. Obviously it's not necessarily that it's like difficult to reach the summit. That's quite an individual thing, I would say. Quite a private matter, even though I've just publicly exposed it. But um, I guess because it's steep, that's the whole thing. Because it's so steep, it's like, you know, you know, there's a, there's a, there's a climax, there's a summit. And then, and then you get over that. And then it's, you know, time, time to sleep if you're a boy. And time to go again if you're a girl. Just kidding. I don't know how to multiple orgasm yet. Right. Ready? Yeah. It is the day after the music video shoot. I've woken up and I ache all over. Literally like my shoulders are sore to touch, like the back of my legs were really like worked out and stretched and everything. Like obviously the TikTok dancing, the sprinting, like me having to run from uh, Three Benson Street, which is where I had my second year house, to Fitzwilliam College, which is the college I went to, by the way, guys. Um, me having to sprint tried to get from one place to the other in 25 seconds. I thought it was a short distance. I was fucking wrong, okay? <laughs> so yeah, don't get me wrong, it was so much fun, but holy moly, my body has never felt so broken. <laughs> Worth it though, for the art. And at long last, I've received the final master of the song. Guys, it sounds proper quality. It's amazing sound quality, I think anyway. Um, Big shout out to A and B Sound, which is Alex Price and Ben F Grave, for putting up with me, putting up with all my continuous revisions. <laughs> it's fine though, it was agreed, it was unlimited revisions, so don't come at me. But yeah, they're really talented, they're excellent mixing and mastering engineers, so I really recommend them. Uh, very quick turnaround, but yeah, I think the quality's banging. Really tired right now, so I'm sorry if it seems like I'm like lacking in energy. It's because I am, okay? Give me a fucking break. Celebratory Deliveroo coming in. What's that? 20 to 30 minutes. Quick maths. My cat is there too. She gives me a big pat on the back or a vomit in the ear. So there you go. There you have it. Oh, now that is good. <laughs> That's, that's how it tastes, shall we? Mm. Mm. <laughs> now that is pizza. Okay, quick time. Quick time, I'm gonna show you the, uh, the lyric uh, drafting that happened. Let me, let me show you. All right, so we've got, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Bless me. Right. Um, so instead of shit, we've gone for it. Anyone last look at your shh. Um, I'm an undiagnosed witch. Great suggestion by my mum over there. Hey mum, say hello to the fans. Hello. <laughs> right, anyway. <laughs> my previous sex we had with sex. I But I called it all a day. All right. Um, I hope you get to hear this version. Otherwise, I'm going to have to kind of sing it. 
But yeah, where's my wallet, did you say? Uh, the rationale behind that was kind of just like, you know, losing sense. And uh, instead of like chopping a stick off, I'm now stealing his money. That's still, you know, a pretty plausible bad thing to do. But I recommend it. I mean, I don't. Right? Zama. Complete mental witch. Mental is uh, considered mild in the Ofcom because it could be like, oh, mental health issues and stuff. But if used to refer to like stupidity or like, you know, in a lighthearted, humorous manner, it's generally of no concern. So I went, let's go with it because I quite like that word. Yeah, this one, I'm so proud of this. This is even almost cleverer than the original. Dating men is like an Oxford term, all buck, no bang. They think they're grand, but all they do is leave you longing for a vaccine. So obviously, all buck, no bang is like, you know, uh, there's no bang from a buck. I didn't get my money's worth, right? But also, it's like all buck, you know, people who go to Oxford or whatever, all rich and stuff. But haha, <laughs> they're not much of a bang. You're not going to get a good bang out of them. And yeah, they think they're grand. You think they're grand, you know, posh twats and all of that. Uh, and this is the one I struggled with. So this bit, I had a few options for. Dating men is like a cute heart, but you wish you never wallowed. Went for dating men is like a cute heart, but you think you'd never want what followed. It's like COVID bloody 19. I think we can all get behind bloody. Uh, I just really, I had a few options, but I just went for really, really bad. Just because it's like, there's no, there's no way else for me to explain how bad they are. I'm just going to say really twice. Do you know what I mean? It's that kind of vibe. So yeah, that was the clean version process that I did, guys. Uh, hopefully a radio plays it. Stay tuned. I've just been sent the music video. Opening in five minutes, it says. So I'm going to, I'm going to watch them. Oh, and I have already seen, I've already watched back all the individual takes. But seeing it all together with the music and the transitions and stuff. I'm just, I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm excited. Oh, uh, I hope it's good. I'm sure it will be good. It will be good. It is good. Me and my dad are just watching the music video, okay? And at the start, in the first, in the first like six, seven seconds, I think it's before I start singing, there is an optical illusion going on. Sometimes you notice a flash, it might be a camera glitch, and sometimes you don't notice it. When you try and focus, you can't notice it. It's crazy. Let me know in the comments if you notice the glitch. So go back and watch the music video and let me know, because it's freaking me out. Mum, mum. Yes. What did you think of the music video? It was fabulous, excellent, professional, stunning. <laughs> Dad, what all did of, you think? All of the above. Yeah. All of the above. Lady. Very good, brilliant, I was so happy. <laughs> did you cry? No, I never cried. <laughs> <laughs> Anything you'd like to add? Well done. <laughs> I'm about to pitch my song to the Spotify editorial playlists. Wish me luck. Oh my god, guys, this is so cool. Look, so basically on DistroKid, there's like a section that come on DistroKid, and there's a section which is called Synced Lyrics, and it's for like Instagram stories and stuff, which I'm always lip syncing to, by the way, to other people's songs. So yeah, it's telling me that now I have to make sure my lyrics are in sync. So hold your space bar down when you hear the beginning of a line. Okay, release your space bar when the lyric is finished. Delete if you mess up or click here to reset. <gasps> this is so much pressure, oh my god. Right, let's, let's, let's have a go, let's have a go. Okay. Oh shit, so hold it down when you hear the beginning of a line, fuck. All boys, they try to date me. They don't know that I'm crazy. I'm getting DMs daily, get a life. This is so difficult. Cause although I like <laughs> rejecting ugly mugs I get too many cocky thugs Who say I'm meant to be their wife Okay So go home, take off your likes Cause Yes, I'm in the bath I had to be in the bath for some of my behind the scenes Because it wouldn't be a Louise Harris behind the scenes Without me being in the bath Um, right, so yeah I just wanted to update you guys Had a little bit of a mare Had a little bit of a panic today Because I realised I listened, I don't know why I did, but I listened to like a, the original master because there were two versions and I listened to it and I was like, oh my God, this is just way better. Like the, the, the my voice, the words are so much clearer and the reverb is better. It's less blurry. It just has a better sound quality to it. So I was like, fuck it, I need to change it. So I had to t delete my release from DistroKid and then I had to re-upload it. And uh, I'd already pitched to Spotify, so I had to delete that pitch or cancel it. Hopefully, because it's only like... a 
like what three days since I uploaded it. Hopefully it'll all still be fine for the release date and hopefully I can get the Spotify pitch in as soon as possible. I guess the reason that I'm mad is all the boys I've ever had are just really fucking bad dating men. I'm crazy. Yeah, I'm me. Dirty my fucking sons daily gets a life. Oh my god. Cuz although I like rejecting my oh, ugly marks. I get I too many cocky sucks. Yeah. I say I'm oh, meant to be their wife. Driving, it's fine. Okay. So go home, take off your nights. Cuz take me as I could came but leave burnt out emotionally destroyed. Suicide. <laughs> it's like a job at an accountancy firm. You think it's stable, steady income, but when something goes wrong, <laughs> guess wrong. who is like This is on the radio. <laughs> and if you Watch think I'm full of it, take one last look at you. Cause I'm an undying nose witch, dating me is love. In the battle of Stalingrad, dating men is light. Losing your cherry as an undergrad, dating men is light. Spotify with the ads, dating men is light. Still better than dating me, though. To all the TikTok supporters who made this happen, I love you so much. Thank you. Good night.